um, even receiving the offer. So when you receive the offer, you know, great, celebrate, buy the kids a gift, buy your career coach a gift if you have a, a uh, um, career coach, buy a Ferrari. Most important thing is buy your career coach a Ferrari. Um, none of my clients have done that yet. Um, but uh, that's sort of at the end of receiving the offer, but you have to make sure the offer is the right offer. And there's a lot of negotiation. A lot of people think that the offer process is they throw out a number, you maybe throw out a different number, but the whole question becomes who throws out the number first? Well, the answer is they should always throw out the number. You should never throw out a number because you're basically bidding against yourself. And then when they throw out a number first, how do you respond? You don't just wanna take the offer. You don't wanna bid something or bid back a number that's $100,000 higher. So there's a dance that you can go through if you want to, to maximize your compensation or the form of compensation, whether it be stock options or stock grants or, or base compensation. So this idea about there's a dance going on and really this whole process is a dance. The resume is a dance, the LinkedIn profile and networking is a dance. This whole dance of trying to get you to the right position is completely iterative and having a plan is so important. Um, workforce plans. You all set up workforce plans and you put timeframes associated with different plans. Sometimes those plans um, are shorter, sometimes they're longer. Many times you have to make adjustments. Well, that's really the same thing. So along this axis here, I simply represent that some of these activities will take weeks, some of them may take months, and then what you think may take months may take weeks or vice versa. So the idea that you have a plan, but you're constantly flexible in terms of updating your plan is just so important. So let's use maybe a couple of examples here. So um, in terms of overall planning, strategy could easily take zero to three months. The resume, at least two weeks. LinkedIn profile, at least two plus weeks. The question becomes, what can you do serially? Or what can you do in parallel? Well, strategy, resume, and LinkedIn profile should really kind of be done in that order. Um, but your LinkedIn profile and your cover letters, you can work on in a parallel fashion. Networking and interview preparation, you can work on in a parallel fashion. So you can become much more efficient in terms of knowing what steps to take and what steps you can do um, that are parallel with each other. Okay, this is a really ugly graph, so I decided to do bright red to keep everybody awake. <laughs> um, so basically on the strategic side, as we started talking about, am I really thinking about the right title? Am I thinking about the compensation, the company size? How about geography? Um, am I gonna be able to have a remote job? I, as I say to my clients, don't take a job if you don't like where the home company is. So in the United States, Minnesota happens to be a cold place. Um, many of my clients are in New York City, which is cold, but it's not as close as Minnesota. So I said to my clients, well, if the company's based in Minnesota, Minneapolis, one of the coldest places in the United States, if they tell you you can do a job remotely and the company's based in Minneapolis, Minnesota, something tells me they may want you in Minneapolis six months or a year from now after COVID's over. So I say to my clients, I'm not sure I would take a job. If you don't like cold weather, I'm not sure I would take a job in Minneapolis, even though they may promise you, you may be able to work remotely. So you got to think about, well, six months or a year from now when COVID's over, what is that job really going to look like? Is this a job a means to an end? I have so many clients call me up and say, Mike, this is the job that I want. I know that they're never going to get that job because they're trying to jump three or four levels and they just don't have the right skill set for it. And frankly, I'm honest with them and tell them that. And I'll compare them to other clients that have more certifications, have different skill sets. Well, sometimes you want to take a job that may be a means to an end, um, not necessarily the job that you want at that point in time. So thinking about a job that will get you to the next job, rather than just trying to maximize the money in front of you, that's something to really think about. Um, player versus coach, so incredibly important in the agile process and where you are. Um, it's so important in the job search process also. Um, and then you have the whole reputation issue about your manager and the company and the CTO's reputation. So I really encourage everyone to think through all of these different issues as, as best as possible. <laughs>